Some of the best tech products over the last two decades have come from Apple. You have the iPod, iPhone, iPad, MacBooks and many more. And the brain behind its beautiful, functional and yet robust design was Johnny Ive. And this man is now teaming up with the creators of ChatGPT. Say hello to IO, a new AI hardware startup unveiled by Sam Altman and Johnny Ive. It promises to redefine how we experience AI in our daily lives. So this isn't just going to be another AI startup, but it's a reimagination of what a device can be. Something that's designed not to dominate your attention, but to disappear into your world. And this announcement marks the next phase of a two-year collaboration between Johnny Ive's design firm Lovefrom and OpenAI. This began as a private exploration and has now culminated into a formal merger because OpenAI will acquire Johnny Ive's startup for nearly $6.5 billion as reported by Bloomberg. And this purchase is OpenAI's largest to date and this gives the company a dedicated unit focused on developing AI-powered devices. So what exactly is I.O. and why is it getting so much buzz? Computers are now seeing, thinking and understanding. Despite this unprecedented capability, our experience remains shaped by traditional products and interfaces, said Sam Altman and Johnny I. Look, they haven't announced the launch of anything specific, but the nature of the partnership and these individuals does reveal what the future might hold. So Johnny I brings his legendary design philosophy to this product, which is going to be minimal, human-centric and intuitive. And this device may not even look like traditional tech. It might feel like something that belongs to you, quietly enhancing your experience without shouting for your attention. Meanwhile, Sam Altman's vision ensures that the intelligence under the hood isn't static, but it is built on the latest large language models, possibly GPT or O1 based reasoning agents that are capable of learning, thinking and adapting to individual users over time. And this won't just be a chatbot on your wrist or your phone or any screen. It can be the beginning of a true personal AI companion. Yes, I know we've seen many other attempts like the Humane AI Pin, Rabbit R1 and even Meta Smart Glasses with Ray-Ban. But what I.O. brings is gravity, the design pedigree of Apple, the AI depth of OpenAI and a vision that isn't tied to simply moving away from phones but to moving beyond screens altogether. So here's the big question. What makes I.O. different and will it really matter? Look, I.O. won't just be another wearable. It could be the first real step towards post-smartphone AI. Because for years, we've relied on devices that demand our attention, constant notifications, endless scrolling, dozens of apps, and I.O. might just flip that script. It might be invisible yet indispensable meaning intelligence that fades into the background but understands you deeply. It may have no screens and no distractions, just you, your context and AI. So that makes I.O. less of a gadget but more of a philosophy. Now of course the success of I.O. will depend on many things which is battery life, privacy, pricing and whether it truly enhances your daily life in some capacity. But having said that, devices dedicated to AI, with the exception of Meta's Ray-Ban glasses, have failed, especially the Rabbit R1 and the Humane AI Pin. And Johnny I recognizes this. He told in an interview with Bloomberg that those were very poor products. There has been an absence of new ways of thinking expressed in these products. So it's very likely that such mistakes will not be repeated. And the potential is quite clear. And if it does work, I.O. could do for AI hardware what the iPhone did for mobile computing, which is not just to redefine a device, but create an entirely new category. So it's a bold bet, but it's also the most serious and a well-designed attempt to bring AI out of our screens and into our lives. So will I.O. become the blueprint for intelligent devices in the future? Or will it be another ambitious experiment in the fast-moving AI race? Let us know what you think in the comments below. This was Front Page by AIM. Always remember, think AI, think AIM.